Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako. Blood is in the air. Today's video is all about Valentine's Day in Japan, and it may or may not be what you were expecting because the first time I heard how Valentine's Day was celebrated in Japan, I had an eye twitch and I was like, excuse me? Please elaborate. We're gonna talk about Valentine's Day in Japan um, and do a little comparison as to how I celebrate Valentine's Day in the States. And then we're gonna go shopping because how else are we going to see what Valentine's Day is like out in the streets unless we go to the shops, okay? But let's just go ahead and dive into it. Valentine's Day in Japan, it's gonna be a shocker probably. It's the day that women give gifts to men. I'm gonna say that again. Valentine's Day in Japan, February 14th, is about women giving gifts to men. So all you men watching this video, you can call your little lady friends up and crack jokes about it. Because it's true. That is how Valentine's Day is celebrated here. Now, it is a lover's day and it can be romantic if that is what you want it to be but it can also just be like a way of expressing like your friendship and like fondness of someone like coworkers that's in a friendly way that's like non-romantic at all. Here are the four scenarios that you may be buying chocolate and it kind of helps you understand like what kind of chocolate and who you're gifting for. The first one is jibun choco. Now this is chocolate that you're going to buy and treat yourself, okay? This is just a chocolate you're gonna purchase for yourself because you deserve it and you want to and you love yourself on Valentine's Day. Number two is Tomo Choco. This is a store-bought chocolate that you would buy for a best friend to show your appreciation for them. So you may know them from work or you may know them from school. You do not have a crush on them. Um, so it's a store-bought chocolate you would give to them just to say like, thank you for being in my life. We're great friends. Number three is Giri Choco. This is what is considered an obligation gift or an obligation chocolate. So maybe it's a coworker or somebody at school that you know and you don't have a crush on them either and you want to gift them a cheaper store-bought chocolate just to show your appreciation for them. Like I appreciate things that you do for me in the work environment or school environment. So here is a chocolate gift on Valentine's Day for you. The last chocolate that you may be purchasing for someone is called an Honmei Choco. Now this is somebody that you have a crush on. This is um, a more expensive chocolate that you may buy, but more traditionally, it's a homemade item. So you make them the, a chocolate or sweets or cakes or cookies or something and you gift them that and that's kind of how it's known that this is because you have a crush on them. Now, if you have your panties in a super tight wad like I did when I found out how Valentine's Day was celebrated here in Japan, we can all relax and take a breath because a month from February 14th is White Day. White Day is March 14th where the, where the roles are reversed. So February 14th, Valentine's Day, women give men gifts. A month later on March 14th, the roles will be reversed and men give women gifts. So I would love to know what you guys think about all of that. I personally find it really complicated to understand because I just feel like that's a lot. And there's kind of like a lot of unspoken, understood roles, rules in Japanese culture that even as a foreigner, I will never grasp and never understand. So I don't really completely understand how you really know if somebody has a crush on you and then what if you're given a gift and you're like, oh, this is given to me because they have a crush on me. Like, how do you know that they have a crush on you back? And if you don't have a crush on them, then what happens? I'm from the United States where Valentine's Day is definitely like consumerism based and it's traditionally been driven into our minds that that's the holiday where men go above and beyond to be romantic towards their partners. And I know there was like a long period of time where it was really pushed at like diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Like that's what you, you like splurge on your ladies during Valentine's Day, take them on romantic dates. And it's just like a very romantic couple's day. Now every couple actually celebrates very differently. Like my husband and I, we might just get each other cards or have a nice dinner, whether that's going out to eat or just making something at home. So 
that's kind of a quick summary on how that's celebrated in the States. I would love to know if you guys don't live in the States or you don't live in Japan as well. If you even celebrate Valentine's Day in the country that you live in, maybe it's on a different day or something like that. But yeah, in the States, it's definitely like this very, supposed to be this very romantic holiday where you celebrate each other's love and some people make a big deal out of it. Some people don't. We are gonna go shopping because I wanna see what the stores have out in town as far as like holiday decor and what kind of chocolates everybody's selling. Today is January 30th, so it's like two weeks before Valentine's Day. I'm not completely sure that they're gonna have all their swag out, but I'm still really excited to see what they have. Now, speaking of gift giving, you guys know that food is my love language. So if I didn't already have Tokyo Tree and Sakurako as a sponsor, I would love nothing more than to get this as a Valentine's gift. And if you order by February 15th, you will be getting the Valentine's Day box, which is the ones we're gonna go through today. Both Tokyo Tree and Sakurako come with a booklet that has information about allergies, the food inside, the makers, and really cool information about the Japanese culture. Tokyo Tree's theme is My Snack and Valentine. Tokyo Tree has the most exclusive, latest, limited edition, seasonal snacks that you can get in Japan right now. How cute, it's so pink. Sour plum chips. You guys have never had fume before, it's plum. And it's one of my favorite things. I had never had it before coming to Japan and now I'm like obsessed with it. It's like super sour. First time I had it, it was like unlocking a new flavor, like completely, like in my senses. Tart and fruity and salty at the same time. It's a really, really difficult flavor for me to try to describe for you guys, so I hope that you get a chance to try it too. A lot of strawberry flavored things in the Tokyo Treat Box this month. These Lucky Daifuku Kit Kats are filled with red azuki beans and mochi. That is so good. Sakura Ko's theme is Valentine's Bliss. And this box is in partnership with Osaka Prefectural Government, supporting small artisanal businesses. These are snacks that you can only get from this box unless you visit Japan. Onion Sable. Savory Sable Cookie, unassuming at first glance. Upon closer inspection, you'll be pleased to find bits of sensu onion carefully kneaded into its dough. Orange Jap Japanese yam and apple, but it all these smells like sweet yellow onion. Holy crap, that is like a fiesta in my mouth. The texture of this is like one of those buttered cookies. Oh, my mouth is salivating. And it's sweet and you can totally taste the onion. I have no idea how in the world they got these flavors to work, but it is really freaking good. And I really hope that you guys get a chance to try this because the onion is packing a punch. Oh my gosh. I would buy a pack of these. And you know what, I will say, my mouth is going to be stinky of onions for the rest of the evening. So this would actually be really funny to have on a date night. Wow. Saka crunch chocolate. Kind of looks like a Rice Krispies treat. So this is flavored with white chocolate and raisins. Mmm. Wow. It actually totally reminds me of like white chocolate covered Rice Krispie treats or white chocolate covered cornflakes, but they're really like finely milled. And it's not too sweet, it's really delicious. Make sure you give the gift of snacks this Valentine's Day season, and you can use my code ATLAS to get $5 off your first box. There's more information in the links in my description, but I think we're gonna wrap that up at my house and go shopping. We're actually gonna meet up with my friend Via. She was so kind to film this section of the video because I could not make it to the shop, and you guys show her a bunch of love because she did a, like an amazing job. Hey guys, my name's Bia, I'm Caitlin's friend, and we're here today at Tete. It's in Tokuji, Japan, a really, really tiny, tiny mountain town. And uh, Caitlin's not here right now, but I work here, so I can show you around and show you all the stuff we have for Valentine's Day. Come on. Tete is a patisserie and a chocolate shop. We make bean to bar chocolate from scratch, and it's a really, really fun process. But the chocolate here is super tasty and please visit. My boss also won these International Chocolate Awards for this really special bergamot and pink peppercorn 
chocolate that she made. A little about me is I've been living in Japan for almost six years now, maybe almost seven. I have to count, but I've been working here at Tete as a pastry chef for almost two years, which is bonkers. Uh, it's like pretty much my dream job and I just super love it here. We make lots of really, really fun, amazing desserts and I don't know, I just love coming to work every day. My favorite thing about working here is making the cakes. This, these are the cakes we make and I love being able to create new things and kind of work with my creative side. My boss lets me make some original desserts sometimes and it's really fun. Tote is super famous for our Japanese cheesecakes. They're called Zatoyama cheesecakes and they're sold out pretty much every day. We just got new freezers because we sell frozen cakes now. So you can mail them to Japan or keep them for a really long time for special occasions. One of our Valentine specials are these almond truffles. My box made them by hand and with the bean to bar chocolate that we made. They're super delicious. Heart-shaped mousse cakes. They're made with bean to bar chocolate mousse and filled with chocolate cake and vanilla mousse. This one is actually decorated by me. <laughs> All our Valentine's Day stuff is pink, even though they mostly go to husbands and boyfriends. Lots of girlfriends and wives come and buy their partner's chocolate here. And for White Day, we have uh, blue boxes for the men to buy their, their partners. Our super special Valentine's chocolate is this heart box, and it contains this tempered bean to bar chocolate heart. And it has all these gems and different like chocolate covered nuts and stuff in the box. My boss is a chocolate artist, basically, and she sculpted this chocolate sculpture of wings and if you look even the she she did eat each of the feathers like everything's by hand she's insane so talented here's all the different bean to bar chocolate that we make we get different beans from different countries, wash them, roast them, and grind them, and temper the chocolate into bars. All our chocolate bars are made with coconut sugar and actually no milk powder. We use almond powder, so our chocolate is actually vegan. For Valentine's Day, we also have these bean to bar chocolate bars with edible flowers and candied almonds. And Super pretty. The front looks like this. Perfect gift for a loved one. Today we're actually launching these new chocolates that my boss made. They're also made with the bean to bar chocolate and filled with Japanese honey, special honey that she got locally. It's super yummy. And th these boxes are filled with wrapped hearts. In Japan, Valentine's Day is actually for women to give gifts to men. So these are, these boxes are kind of geared more like masculine, I guess. We also make our own chocolate bark. Each one is 430 yen. We have four different kinds, just like this. My favorite one is the matcha. And we make the matcha chocolate from scratch too. Well, I hope you guys have had fun learning about how, how it is inside a chocolate shop and a pastry shop. And I hope you guys come visit. Caitlin will leave a link in her description of where Tete is. And thank you for visiting. I'll see you soon. We're headed into Daiso right now because I'm hoping that they have some cute Valentine's Day goodies. If you don't know what Daiso is, it's like a, they call it like the 100 yen store. Things are like 100 yen to 500 yen and it's actually international so you can probably find these wherever you are and they have really cute stuff and seasonal things. But yeah, let's go inside and hope that they have Valentine's Day stuff. I really want to find some like cheesy earrings or just decorations for my house. 
I actually wasn't sure that they would have their Valentine's stuff out yet because today's January 30th. They do have like this display right when you walk in with stationery and like fake flowers, like things for crafting. And then behind that display, they have um, like chocolates, candies, these super cute cookies, sprinkles. This is so cute. It's like a little box that you can put your little goodies in to gift. Winnie the Pooh. Little things are beautiful too. Flowers are such friendly things. It's like so adorable. A little keepsake box. <laughs> I love these little boxes that I found. They're buses. They're just like plain, but I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of tempted to get these for my son's room. Even though he is, he's way too little to even understand what's going on. But these are so adorable. Corn cushions. Buff of material for presents that you're going to get. There's pink ones. And this corn cushion is blue. They remind me a lot of like cotton candy. You'll notice a lot of stuff for baking because it's pretty common to bake or cook things for whoever you want to give a Valentine's gift to. This is super adorable. Heart wax paper. Little boxes you can put sweets in and truffles. Red ribbon. Strawberry washi tape. I personally cannot explain this, but these are fake mangoes. This is a squash, I think. This is a radish. I don't really know why. <laughs> these are here in the Valentine's Day section. Here's an onion. A potato. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why these are here, but that's just making me giggle. I'm a little bummed because I'm not seeing any other type of Valentine's Day accessories like, I don't know, I wanted like some fun socks or a fun pair of earrings or something, but um, I'm not seeing any of that. Probably notice that this display is a lot of stuff to make your own chocolates and sweets. So the sprinkles, the chocolate icing, the cookie mix, and then the display is like mostly wrapping and packaging things and how to make the gift beautiful when you give it and like I was saying earlier in the video this is probably more geared towards um honmei choco which is like the handmade more expensive gift item that you would give to a romantic interest so yeah but of course like do whatever you want um just sharing and I think that the display is super cute I'm still trying to decide if I'm gonna get one of these little boxes or not for my son um but we'll see Let's go to the next place. At a different shopping center, it's called Yumi Town. It is a chain, but it's not everywhere in Japan. And their Valentine's Day display is a lot bigger and I guess a little more traditional as to what you would see if you were going shopping for Valentine's Day gifts. I really wanna show you the kids stuff and then I'm gonna go over and show you some of the stuff that they have in the cases because it's so beautifully packaged and looks so nice. And yeah, it's just like so different here because in the United States Valentine's Day, chocolates and stuff, it's always in like a heart shape, almost always in a heart shaped box and like love themed. Where here you can just give a thing of chocolates and it's like, doesn't have to be about love or in a romantic gesture. These are the chocolates for little kids. Well, I say little kids, honestly, like anybody who enjoys these types of products could get them. But I wanted to show them to you because they're so adorable. These have little animals and eggs. Looks like dinosaurs. This, oh my gosh, this is adorable. These are all the little Shinkansen trains and a train conductor. I wish there was a yellow one on here because I love Dr. Yellow. Oh, I wish my son was old enough to enjoy these. He's still too little to have this stuff, but this is so freaking cute. This is assorted party chocolates with, they're really tiny, like I'm sure you can see in comparison to the size of my nail. Super little. The Pokemon, so cute. I am so obsessed with these little chocolate band-aids. How adorable are those? Chocolate. I think we could all use a little bit of chocolate pick me up. Make us all feel better. Snoopy is such a famous character here in Japan. You'll see a lot of peanut stuff here. 
Something I've noticed every year with the kids' chocolates at least is there's more and more girl stuff. So it's teetering less to, to the side of like only girls giving chocolates to boys, but even with kids or like school age students, they'll share their treats and sweets. But anyway, let's keep looking around because there's some super cute stuff here. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these chocolates. There's space. <laughs> How cool is this? It's so creative. It's the solar system. This one's already sold out. The Pokemon Pocket Monsters with the pouch. And then it does have these chocolates here. They're just so detailed. It's so beautiful. This is so, so cute. Grand Chef Snoopy. They have some alcohol gift sets too. So this is a kava. And then it looks like a wine glass or something in here. I'm not really sure. What is this? I honestly do not know what's in here. I don't know. If anybody is watching can tell us what this is, please let me know. Sephora and Picardi. The Kieran packages. Flint chocolate is also really big here. I think like this is pretty standard to what chocolates in the States look like for Valentine's Day. Some type of tin heart. Something like that. These are cute. Just little simple link packaging. I don't know about you guys, but I just find that the chocolates here in Japan are so much more creative, aesthetically beautiful. Like it's not just about the experience that you have eating the chocolates, but the experience of the packaging, the experience of just the aesthetic of them. Like I, I, I can't get over the astronomy set. I think that this is so, so well done and so cool. And all of these chocolates are super affordable. They're ranging from 400 yen to 2,200 yen, which is $3 to about 19 US dollars. Just to revisit this set, this one is 2,000 yen. And look how beautiful it is. About 19 US dollars. And I can assure you that it looks even more beautiful in person. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.